Wow, that's the best one so far. You're natural. Good one, Manda. Is the same. Same, well, at least the same swing. Same setup, same stand, same alignment. Except for here, we're going to put the ball more toward our left foot. And we do that because we want to hit up on the ball. We want to get it nice and high up in the air. So I always put it toward my left foot. So when I go to hit it, I can hit it on the upswing and get some high loss on it. I also like to tee the ball up. So see some nice tall tees. Generally, we want the ball about a half a ball above the face like this. So again, we can hit it on the upswing and get some nice high loft on it. The key to hitting a nice long drive, does anybody want to know what the key to hitting a nice long drive is? It's not how far we take the club back, it's not how fast we swing, it's about our turn. So if you watch any sport, like a boxer throwing a punch, they turn their body through the punch, just like Aaron Rodgers rotates his body, or a pitcher does the same. A pitcher couldn't throw a 100 mile an hour fastball just by swinging as fast as he could. So the trick in the golf swing is we need some power. We get the power from our turn and our weight shift. So many people think that you got to keep your head still over the ball. If I did that, I wouldn't really have any power. So I want to be able to shift my weight. And if you even look at my shadow, my, my weight goes to my right side and through to my left side, just like I'm throwing a punch or throwing a baseball. So I'll give you an example and then I'll let you guys hit. I turn my back to my target like this, so I've got a full turn. And if I can tap my left heel, then I know I've got some weight on my right side. And then I turn my body, shoulders and hips, through, and now my weight's on my left leg. So if you can see the bottom of my right shoe like that, that would be a good follow through. Well, that's where I'm going to get my power trying to turn back and through the ball. It doesn't mean you have to take it back like this, which I know a lot of you can. So take it back to here, get a good turn. Turn your body through to a nice follow through like that. And if I can see the bottom of your right shoe, for you righties, or Cody, for you being a lefty, be this way, then you know you're in a good finish position. So tee the ball up nice and high. Put the ball toward your front foot. And remember, we don't have to grip it and rip it. Nice, easy swings. You'll be surprised how far it goes. Okay, so let's spread out. We've got plenty of drivers. Well, let's try a different driver, though. you can mix computers and go. <laughs> nice. So the one thing you're missing, I was telling you about last time, is you got to turn through the ball. So, your dad, right? Mm -hmm. So where your dad's standing, he should see the bottom of your right shoe. So when you go home and you watch your video tonight, if you turn your torso and your hips like this, the bottom of your right shoe like that. Okay. Try it. 
That's where you get your power. An extra 20 yards, maybe. So I had to. Yep. Ooh, so you're just turning like this. That's, that's it. Okay. So I always ask golfers if you could put the club down and you did this, and you just turn, then you know you can do it. But you got to do that and keep your eye on the ball at the same time. <laughs> oh! Yeah, spoke out a good lesson in golf. <laughs> Yeah, we're, uh, that's uh, like a new rule, not going forward to get a ball or a tee. <laughs> One of the disadvantages of playing next to a lefty. <laughs> you see where the red timer is? Yeah. Yep. You're doing good. You want me to turn it off? No. I don't know. You better play. Still got to follow through. I got to see the bottom of your right shoe there. Arthur's doing it. 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 Arthur's doing it.
All right, now you guys gotta go out and pick up all those balls before you can eat. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that before lunch. <laughs> This is more of a blast for me than anything else. Did you come to a corn field? Huh? Wow, yes. So you need to set up before you play the corn Thank you. All right. So this is the Jesse from Oshkosh you keep talking about? Yeah. Yeah. You talking about me a lot? <laughs> no. Ow. Go ahead. Got a blister? No, it peeled. Holy nice. <laughs> Holy jeez. I think it did go to the 200. I was just, I was just some, going to the So good old Mario goal. To me, Mario, why would we turn us into a fireball? Mario's not wearing his costume today. But what? It's it the opposite day today. Instead of red, I wear green. But he can still hit it good. Whoa! Nice shot. He's he's pretending he's Junior Bowser. I'm not Junior Bowser. It's called Bowser Jr. <laughs> yeah, well, how many times I killed him? Nice and straight, Cody. Take your time. I didn't know Cody was this photogenic for you to take a call for over lunch. One more, Cody. Wow. Nice. I'm a dumb. As he said, one more. Good job. Good job to meet you.